Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing lesson 3.2 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 3.2 is about estimating products, so we're going to have a multiplication problem. It's not asking us to find the exact answer, it's asking us to find an estimate. So we've already done this, we've practiced it with addition, subtraction, and multiplication with smaller numbers. Now we're just doing it with multiplication with bigger numbers. So we know in order to find an estimate, what we have to do is round our numbers. So they're giving us the problem 32 times 31. So you can see here in step one, they've rounded each of the factors. They've rounded 32 to 30 and 31 to 30. So now they have 30 times 30. They say here you can use your basic fact of 3 times 3, which equals 9. And then just add your two zeros. So 900 would be our estimate for 32 times 31. Easy enough, right? Okay, so then let me show you how to do this using compatible numbers. That's our second way to, to estimate products. Okay, so here we have compatible numbers. This is another way to estimate products for multiplication problems. So they're using the problem 24 times 28, and a compatible number is just something you can think of as an easy number to multiply. An easy number to multiply, when we're looking at 24, is 25. If we just round that to 25, that's a compatible number. It's easy to multiply by 25 because we can think of them as quarters. So we'll change the problem to 25 25 times 30, which we then can do our basic fact, 25 times 3, or 3 quarters is 75, and then add the 0 from the 30, so 750. So that's compatible numbers. So whichever way you like to do, rounding both numbers and then multiplying, or using compatible numbers, either of those ways will work for estimating products. I just usually choose the one that I like the best and do that one every time. So we're going to practice this. We're going to practice it our first way, which is rounding both. So we're going to round 26 to 30, because that 6 will make the 2 go up to a 3. And we're going to round 79 to 80, because that 9 will make the 7 go up to an 8. So now we have 30 times 80. I'm going to do my basic fact. 3 times 8, which is 24, and add my two zeros onto my answer to get 2,400. So 26 times $79 is about $2,400. So that's the first way. Then the second way was compatible numbers. And we have 26 times 79, same problem. 26, a compatible number for that is 25, and then we're just going to round the other number just like we did before, 79 rounds to 80. So now I can think I have 25 times 8, or 8 quarters, which is equal to 200, and then add my 0 for my 80, which is 2,000. So 26 times 79 is about $2,000. So same problems. We just have two different ways to estimate them, and both of these estimates, 2,400 and 2,000, would be reasonable. Okay, I hope that helps you on estimating products. And if you have any questions, just leave me a message. Thanks.